Oh. You think the uh, desk clerk seemed a little suspicious? I think the whole sunglasses at night thing you have going on might have been a giveaway. I wouldn't worry about it. This place is the definition of a no-tell motel. Yeah. I was, um, hoping our first night would be in a luxury suite. But being on the road, it's not always accommodating, is it? Yeah. Speaking of being on the road, mm -hmm. we've been going south for a long time now. You want to tell me where we're headed? Where are we going? Well, ah, you know the saying. <laughs> it's the journey, not the destination. Sorry. Pickens were slim. Red licorice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, you remembered. <gasps> oh. Of course. You mean, do I remember the fact that you used to tell me how you and your family and your brother would take road trips up to Aramid, and the only thing to get you and your brother to be quiet in the back seat was what? Licorice. Why are you looking at me like that? Because <sighs> I can't believe I'm really here with you. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, you made, a, you made a pretty good argument for me to leave town. I mean, broke up with Eve, my brother hates me, my whole family is probably gonna hate me after they find out what I did to Eric and Nicole, so... Whatever. Yeah, but leaving town is one thing. Leaving town with me, that caused your family a lot of pain, Brady. You're not trying to talk me out of this, are you? What are you doing? No. I'm just trying to figure out your own game. I'm not naive, Brady. And so I need to ask you, is this real or is it just a trick? I'm not playing you. You just made me realize that we're two of a kind. We're both damaged. We've both done terrible things. We yeah. both know that. Yeah, but so all that pain I caused you, can you really look past this? I think I can. If you can get past all the anger, I think you can do that. I'm gonna need you to promise that you're never gonna go after my family again. Oh. So the reason you're with me is because you <clears throat> want to protect your family. <laughs> if all I wanted to do was protect my family, I could have turned you in. But I didn't, did I? There's a good reason why I didn't. I still have feelings for you. I can't fight them. I've tried. But every time I... I look, I look at you and I get glimpses of that woman that I, uh... I fell in love with. Ready to hear you say that at no, 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 but, 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 but if we're gonna do this, really do this. I need you to give up your obsession with my dad and Marlena. I need you to look at me and tell me you can do that. Okay? <laughs> 